Are you unfamiliar with what meta tokens are when it comes to generating AI images or even AI videos? And this video and actually myself was made with a meta prompt. Hey Eric, so like what exactly are those meta tokens that you always mention? So what exactly is a token when referencing AI images, aka meta tokens? What you can do is you can simply ask ChatGPT and get a pretty good answer. Not only that, but it will actually give you some great meta token examples. And you can also say something like this that you see on your screen right here. When it comes to generating realistic, creative, and unique images with a variety of styles, simply put in the sort of characteristics you're looking for, then just ask what exactly is a meta token and how should I use it? And you can see right here quickly, the answer I get from ChatGPT is this. Think of it as cinematography or photography shorthand for the AI, telling it how to render the image, not just what to render. These tokens can represent Present, and then it gives me five examples right here. Now, why is this going to be so important? Because I'm going to show you today how by using this instruction or this prompt that you see on your screen right here, how you can generate some of the most unique and realistic style looking images by using this very simple prompt right here combined with an image that you upload. And just to show you how powerful these hidden tokens can be, when I asked Grok the same question, look at all these amazing tokens I got right here. Now again, what's so cool about this is that by utilizing the very first portion of it, you'd always wanna make sure that you add this in the beginning of your prompt because the first five to 11 words in your prompt are gonna carry the most weight, significance, and importance. So for an example, if you want to ensure that you get a guaranteed full body shot of a person, you wanna first say in the very beginning of your prompt, full body shot, that's gonna carry the most weight. To really ensure you get a full body shot, say that and then quickly describe the shoes. Then you can go on from there and then describe the person or subject in your image but again our full focus today is going to be on these meta tokens to really get some unique and creative looking and more importantly realistic style images so as i scroll down on grok's chat you can see just right away i'm going to get just right off the bat 25 right there okay i then say break these up so i can copy and paste them and use them over and over again and then it does just that and then i say over here add a third column with an example prompt that a accentuates and showcases the best use case for each specific token. So you can see I get the token, stills archive or IMG underscore, the description on what it's best known and used for, and then a really good example prompt that I could use so I don't have to come up with and think of different ways to utilize and experiment with these tokens. And now just like that, look at all these amazing ones I get. However, but just by using this alone may not give you the best style of an image. That's where this video is gonna go today because we are going to utilize another image to get those secret tokens. But first, before we start, I also want to give you this prompt generator right here. Now you see it on your screen right here. It is the top secret, the OG, the first prompt generator I ever made that in my opinion still does one of the best jobs providing me with some incredible secret tokens to use in your prompts. Now again, this prompt and any prompts I demo in videos are always available 100% free via the link in the description. Click the links in the description to get get what you need and take one look at me cause I'm the prompt queen. queen. So what you first want to do is simply go ahead and copy the whole entire thing. Then just choose the LLM you want to use. I won't focus too long on this prompt because this isn't the main focus today. I just want to show you when copying and pasting this prompt generator exactly what you're going to get. Now right off the bat, look, it's going to give you everything right here. Metadata and file format illusion tokens, studio tokens, camera and lenses. Now again, these are going to give you some incredible, incredible images. Just to show you, that same prompt generator created some of my favorite images that I've already put in my prompts portal and many of my databases. Now, a lot of these prompts that you see are from that OG prompt generator I'm giving you today, but I also did add a lot of my own twists to it to really get some unique style looks. Specifically, if I wanna have an image that's gonna look more animated like this one, which in my opinion is one of the best you'll get for DreamWorks or Pixar style. And then if you wanna get one that's gonna have more of a retro style old school image. Again, same prompt made it, 
Okay, like this one right here of Harley Quinn, you could see same prompt, the OG prompt generator made it, but then I just gave it my own twist and spin. You can even use it to generate accurate looking text in animation style ones like this as well. Okay, so let's go back to the chat. You can see everything we're going to get. So that is included in the description as well. Now, let's go back to what we originally were going to do. Now, again, remember what I said, we're going to use a image reference first. So for this case, we need to go back to that original prompt that I showed you earlier. And now here it is right here. Remember, we're going to use this one in conjunction with an uploaded image as a reference. So now if we come back into chat GPT and we paste in this prompt right here. Now remember, don't do it alone go ahead and add a reference image as well. So what you want to do is find an image that you really like one that you look at and think, wow, that is exceptional levels of realism. How could I possibly generate an image that's going to look like something like this right here. So if this one suffices, let's download this one. Okay. I'll use this one. However, I'm also going to use another one of my favorites of that Harley Quinn style one. Now back over in the chat GPT, let's now bring in one of those images that we just downloaded. Now, again, we're going to go ahead and start with the first one, that close up shot, just like that. Remember for reference, this is going to be the one I'm going to upload. And now let's go ahead and now submit this one. Now we're going to go ahead and open up a second chat as well, because I want to have two of these going at the same time. Again, paste that same exact prompt in. Now this time I'm going to bring in that Harley Quinn one and now submit this one. But now going back to the first one, there's the image. Look at this right here. Got it. Here's your image to prompt token generator. Exactly how you described it. Okay. It's going to give me the tokens used a prompt generator template, different alternative tokens to use, same vibe, slight variations, five completely different unique look tokens. But look at this right off the bat in three steps, we're going to get 15 different incredible tokens or adjectives to use for exceptional levels of realism and uniqueness in our images. And then right off the bat, look, step four, example prompts from the original tokens, alternative tokens and the completely different tokens. Okay. Now again, the follow-up question, if you want, I can fully automate this so that every time you drop in an image, you instantly get all tokens plus prompt examples in one shot. Do you want me to build it that way? So it's plug and play. Well, absolutely. Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and say yes and see what this can come up with. So while that's thinking, let's come to our Harley Quinn one. And now look at this same thing. This image was uploaded and now core tokens, alternative tokens, unique, and then example prompts, 30 fresh and new creative tokens to use to generate images that not only look similar, but even slightly different and even completely different. Okay. So now it looks like our custom plug and play meta prompt generator is done. And to be honest, I'm blown away by what chat GPT five just gave me. Okay. Now you can see right here, it says, awesome. I built you a plug and play image to prompt token generator that fires the second you drop in a photo. And I assume this is going to be it right here. Paste this into any new chat to use. Okay. So we're going to start with the instruction portion, come all the way down and copy this one. But as I scroll down, it does say below is a live run of the image you shared of that pink aqua hair one. And now look at this image inspired tokens, alternative, different looks. And now the example prompts right here. Amazing. Wow. A lot of them. Now to wrap this up, let's quickly see how this works with the prompt that just gave me right off the bat in the new chat. But look, I always say, let's look at the follow-up questions and look at this one. If you want this package as a one click template, you can paste at the top of any chat, use the block under image, the prompt token generator and your set. And then it says, want me to tailor a JSON formatted output version. Oh, now that's going to be crucial because let's say we want to use it for AI video. So I'm going to go ahead and say JSON comma nest did format. Okay. Let's see what this can come up with now. Beautiful. That's why I always say it's important to pay attention to those follow-up questions. And now there it is. Look, it's going to go ahead and do that. And now it's going to give me all of these. Now let's open up a last chat to try one more thing, because remember I want to test 
the one that it just gave me. And just like that, there it is. Now, I do have to upload a reference image, so we are going to do that. Let's find a unique one to try for ourselves. So I want to specifically go to my cheat code realism one over here. Now, here we have it. We're going to select from a variety of these and really find one that's really going to stand out. I think I saw one. I do love this one, close-up realism. Let's download this image. This, I do believe, is going to be a tough one to duplicate. But we'll go ahead and see for ourselves. Click and drag this one in. Now let's submit this one below. Hit that send button and now see what this can come up with. Okay, now instantly it's going to work. Look at this right there. It's giving me all of the example prompts. Beautiful. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And now to wrap this up, let's go ahead and look at a quick collage of all these images that we just got. So there you have it. A simple but very effective yet impressive prompt generator combined with a reference image to use to get some of the best images you'll see. If you like this video, please Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the mules. Channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and